Brittle University College students are protesting against cuts to courses announced by Vice Chancellor Tim Middleton. Dr. Michael Spakowski explains the dispute. Many people only heard about this when they had an email informing them that they were in danger of redundancy flopping through their email. That included uh, 80 people being identified for redundancy and 40 eventual redundancies and four course closures. So many people spent the Easter weekend in uh, appalling worry about their futures here at Rittle. The other side of it is that the experience for students uh, is that successful, innovative and energetic courses are being closed down here. The rationale provided by the senior management of the governors for these closures is that they are not recruiting and that they do not make money. In almost every case that is incorrect and is demonstrably so. Uh, it will affect the student experience, I think, very, very badly. The experience of courses that are closed down, which are being, uh, the word is, taught out, um, is that they're utterly miserable places to be and the students don't get the same experience. The students have supported the staff's campaign against these cut course cuts and against these redundancies, uh, as far as I can see, 100% and we're very, very pleased that they're doing so. Of course, it's nice for us to have that support, but it's also in the interests of students themselves to fight to defend educational provision. My fear is that if this round of cuts and closures are allowed to go through, that, it, that there is a danger that it will put Rittle into a spiral of decline. Uh, because confidence in the institution and confidence in the management of the institution is at an all-time low among staff and I think increasingly among students.